Central Azucarera de Tarlac High School was established in 1966 through the benevolent support of the Cubaco family. Central Azucarera de Tarlac High School is located in a 1.2 hectares at Sitio Obrero, Paraguay Central, Tarlac City. Today, CAD High School serves as the pillar of secondary education, catering to a microcosm of populace coming from the 13th barangays of Asciende Nubisita and outlaying barangays of the towns of La Paz and Concepcion. CAD High School proudly stands with the land formerly owned by two presidents and one senator, considered a hero by the Philippines. The late President Corazon Coaco Aquino and her son President Noinoy Aquino and her husband Ninoy Aquino. With the untiring support of its stakeholders, CAB High School will continue to provide quality education even under this trying time brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. As it is worth giving the best services to the people of CA High School, who are as sweet as the sugar cane, which is their main crop and the source of their livelihood. Welcome to Central Azucarera de Tarlac High School, Maine. As you can see in the video, we have a big land area suitable for agriculture crops, wherein we were awarded as the best Gulayan Saparlan Implementor in the division level of Tarlac City, qualified for regional level. We are a school where teachers and staff are hardworking and friendly, so come and visit us where you will feel at home. For school year 2020-21, Central Azucarera de Tarlac High School as of September 14, 2020 has the following enrollment data. Junior High School, 1,297. Senior High School, 291. A total of 1,588 students. To tackle the job of effectively delivering quality educational services, and accomplish set of educational outcomes. CAP High School Maine has the following number of first. For the junior high school, we have 55 total number of teachers. And for the senior high school, we have 20 total number of teachers, a total of 75 teachers. For the non-teaching staff, we have 8 with permanent items, Three job orders, a total of 11 non-teaching. We have 86 teaching and non-teaching personnel. Presented to you is the approved alternative work arrangement of the teachers, where teachers were requested to report once a week in, in the school. But in the exigency of service, we are requesting other teachers to report. The COVID-19 pandemic greatly affected the different aspects of life of people around the world, including the educational sector. Thus, the main problem of combating and abating the spread of the deadly COVID-19 was the first concern of all educational institutions. Once classes will resume, hence, CAT High School has started preparing such situation very early. Health and safety measures were designed and implemented through the following With the fast approaching date of the formal opening of classes on October 5, 2020, CAT High School can probably claim that it has attained almost 100% readiness to deliver the required standard of education. Now, through its chosen delivery learning system, 
the Modular Learning Delivery. So we are very proud and happy to be here the following accomplishments. For the junior high school, 95% from 3% on going printing, 2% no available in LM program. From the senior high school, 80% complete, 20% no available in LM program. To make the distribution of learning materials when classes will finally be open on October 5, with more regulated and fellow people under the new door. A dry run was conducted and participated by all the stakeholders as we firmly believe in the technology it takes a village to educate a child. The following school stakeholders participated in the dry run held last September 11, 2020. Representatives from the Barangay Council, our GPA president in the person of Mr. Garcia, all advisors and teachers, and 200 parents in the different grade levels. The dry run was very successful. Thus, gave us more confident that we are now finally prepared and ready to meet the challenges of the delivery of quality education under the new norm. As to its financial backup for the fiscal year 2020, CAT High School has the following maintenance and other operating expenses, allocation, and operating balance for the third and fourth quarter. We have 2 million for the junior high school, 508,000 for the senior high school. For the third and fourth quarter, we have stayed for the balance of 1,297 for the junior high school, 291 for the senior high school, a total of 1,588,000 intended for the payments for the for production and printing of modules, procurement of school supplies and common materials, repair and payments of job orders, and other expenses intended for the third and fourth part. To further ensure the delivery of quality educational service, to the constituents of Central Asocarrera de Tarlac High School, the yearly Brigada Escuela was conducted last June 1, 2020, and we were able to generate additional school resources amounting to 253,818. They are as follows. 